Hey everyone. So in this episode, we will be discussing about the charge of GST chapter 5 revision. So we will go for revision of charge of GST in that there are some relevant definitions. So these relevant definitions are definitely you know this who is registered person person registered under section 25 that person is registered except excluding UIN holders taxable supply means on which tax is levyable taxable person means who is taxable under section 22 and 24 that person is taxable person what is reverse charge under section 9394 if you have to pay under section 9394 then you are liable under reverse charge next recipient if where consideration is required then the one who pays the consideration that person is recipient where consideration is not there the one who receives the goods or one who consumes the service receives the service that person is the recipient Uske baad, we discussed about consideration what is consideration anything in the form of money or any uh, other kind also that is consideration or any act which you do but excluding the uh, the subsidy given from the central government state government that is consideration and what is aggregate turnover TIEE -E, taxable supplies interstate supply ex exempt supplies export supplies uh, and exempt supplies what is the meaning of exempt supplies it includes nil rated wholly exempt supply includes non taxable supply also what is non taxable supplies which are not taxable under section 9 subsection 2 and alcoholic liquor for human consumption alcoholic liquor for human consumption PMHAN P for petroleum crude, H for sorry M for motor spirit, H for high speed diesel, A for aviation turbine tu uh, fuel and natural gas. These are the six items on which uh, GST is not there. So there is no GST and India. India means territory of India, its territorial waters, uh, seabed, subsoil, underlying the such water, all these things, cont continental shelf which are provided and airspace above the India that is also India. And Union Territory, remember Andaman, Nicobar Island, Lakshadweep, Daman and uh, Nagara Haveli, the Daman and Diu, Dadra and Nagara Haveli, Daman and Diu, Ladakh, Chandigarh and other territory also. Other territory means the water, territorial waters. Important note may remember that Central Goods and Service Tax Act extend to the whole of India, one, and there are states, states, actually there are uh, the states. Delhi, Puducherry, Jammu and Kashmir, actually these, are, these three are union territories but for the purpose of GST these are states. So you have to include it in the uh, category of states. Okay. Later, now we will discuss about section number 9, subsection 1. Charge of GST sections applicable are section number 9, 1, 9, 2, 9, 3, 9, 4, 9, 5, 5, 1, 5, 2, 5, 3, 5, 4, 5, 5. 9, 1 is forward charge mechanism, 9, 2 is those uh, cases where GST is not applicable and 93 is reverse charge for specified goods and services 94 is reverse charge by unregistered person giving services unregistered person is giving services to those people who is promoter specified uh, goods and services given to specified persons then it is reverse charge and 95 neither supplier nor uh, recipient who will pay the GST it is e-commerce who will pay the GST on specified services so that is given in 9.5. Now we will discuss what is 9.1. There shall be a levied, a tax levied which is called as CGST on all intrastate supply of goods or services except alcoholic liquor for human consumption on the value which is uh, determined under section 15 on such rate but not exceeding 20% collected in such manner as may be prescribed shall be paid by such taxable person. Section number 9 subsection 2 which says that PM hand pay there is no GST alcoholic liquor for human consumption that is given in 9192 9 says that petroleum crude uh, motor spirit high speed diesel aviation turbine fuel and natural gas on these five items there is no GST now we will discuss about section number 9 subsection 3 on specified goods specified category of goods and specified category of services pay the GST is not collected by the supplier but it is by the recipient will pay directly to the government under reverse charge that is RCM. So we, do, we discussed about what is RCM later we discussed that on which are the goods there is uh, RCM reverse charge it is the inclusive lifts, cashew nut, BD leaves, tobacco, raw cotton, uh, supply of lottery, silk yarn, used vehicles and old and uh, used goods, waste all these things and later we discussed that there are some services on which recipient has to pay under RCM recipient do you remember that glass government remember G L A S G G L A S government so what is G sir G T A goods uh, and sir goods transport agency L for 
the legal services legal services a a for arbitral tribunal s for sponsorship services government government services on these services rcm is applicable with that there was one story before going to the story remember about gta goods and a uh, goods tra transport agency goods transport agency mein, who is service provider gta who is service recipient the one who pays the money that person is the service recipient if this gta services are now gta can opt for forward charge and reverse charge if they opt for forward charge then there are two uh, rates 12 percent and five percent you leave that if they opt for forward charge then rcm is not applicable when rcm is applicable gta has to opt for rcm reverse charge then gta is the service provider recipient should be uh, body corporate factories fact body corporate registered factories registered under factories act societies registered under societies act uh, the casual taxable person ctp registered casual taxable person and cooperative societies partnership firm and registered bf scoop remember bf scoop yes so these guys if services are given to these guys then it is rcm it is under rcm so that we discussed there are some exceptions also if gta is giving services to the government department establishment of the central government local authority government agency then it is not taxable that is not taxable in detail we will discuss again in the exemption if you remember that in exemption if it is given to all these guys then it is rcm if it is given to any other person then it is exempt so that is exempt that is given in exemption so we discussed that see five percent and twelve percent if gta goes for five percent and twelve percent then five percent if gta goes for five percent fcm then itc is not available if gta go for twelve percent then itc is available so this is what we have discussed in the class that is about gta second one gl l for legal services service provider is individual advocate senior advocate or firm of advocates to a business entity located in the taxable territory then recipient has to pay under rcm if you remember the exemption chapter business entity may two types of entity business entity which is turnover is less than or equal to 20 lakhs or 10 lakhs as the case may be then 20 lakhs 10 lakhs or 40 lakhs as the case may be then they are exempt if legal services given to the small business entity exempt big business entity under rcm arbitral tribunal services provided by arbitral tribunal to the business entity located in the taxable territory then it is rcm here also remember that arbitral tribunal big business entity rcm small business entity under uh, exempt it is exemption chapter may sponsorship services any person giving sponsorship services to the body corporate or partnership firm then it is payable by body corporate or partnership under rcm remember that body corporate or partnership firm only services given to sponsorship given sponsorship services given by any person to these guys then it is rcm next one government services remember government services any services given by government to the business entity that was rcm except the services of renting of immobile property services specified below services specified below services by uh, the department of post services by uh, services in relation to the aircraft vessel inside or outside the presence of the port or airport and transport of goods or uh, passengers transport of goods or passengers but this time in amendment they have added one more point if you have not seen amendment videos please do watch amendment videos where it is given as railways railways so that railways car is also included here yes or no yes railways is also included here except these items correct no except railways that is also given here yes thus the services provided by central government state government union territory or local authority uh, any to a, any business entity located in the taxable territory but small business entity that means if their turnover is less than or equal to 10 or 20 or 40 lakhs then they, it is exempt more than that uh, threshold limit then it is taxable next one government services by renting of immobile property so the services provider service provider is supplier uh, the supplied by central government state government union territory or local authority and service recipient is any person registered under the cgst act any person registered but here also there is one amendment that amendment says ki immobile property given by indian railways which is under central government if it is given by indian railways that is 
RCM is not applicable that means their FCM is applicable for that you have to watch the amendment videos next one services by way of renting of residential dwelling any person any registered any person is giving services to any registered person please do cut this cut this this has to come here so any person giving services to any registered person then registered person has to pay under RCM later director services here also there was one amendment director of a company or a body corporate giving services to a company or a body corporate company will pay under RCM so here the service provider is director director is giving director related services only then it is under RCM if director is giving any other services such as renting of immobile property director is giving immobile property on rent to the company then it is not RCM then it is FCM on that there is FCM so that director related services if it is given by director to a company company will pay under RCM that is point number six and if director what is given in these two cases if director is considered as employee then it is neither supply of goods nor supply of service there is no RCM there is no FCM if director is not the employee then it is RCM so here we discuss that section number 194 and 194 192 and 194 J correct if is TDS has happened under 192 then it is schedule 3 is applicable and if it is under 194 J then schedule 3 is not applicable next entry number 7 services supplied by an insurance agent services supplied by an insurance agent now insurance agent is the service provider insurance company is the recipient insurance company will pay under RCM services supplied by entry number 8 recovery agent recovery agent is the provider and the banking company NBFC or financial institution they are service recipient they will pay under RCM ninth one services by a music composer photographer artist music composer photographer artist of uh, they are the service provider they are giving services to the music company producer or any person located in the ta taxable territory in that case these guys music company producer they will pay under RCM next 9a supply of service by an author author is giving services to the publisher located in the taxable territory publisher will pay under RCM now author has got one option to go for FCM if he opts for FCM then he has to declare he has to make one declaration and from the date of declaration from the date of opting for next one year he cannot opt out that is given in 9a 10 services by a member of overseeing committee now overseeing committee are service providers and the recipient is RBI RBI will pay under RCM 11th one services by individual direct selling agent remember individual direct selling agent now individual direct selling agent is the service provider other than body corporate partnership firm nothing only individual direct selling agent they are giving services to the banking company NBFC located in the taxable territory banking company will pay under RCM entry number 12 services provided by business facilitator to a banking company then business facilitator giving services to the banking company banking company will pay under RCM but agent of business facilitator giving services to the agent uh, business facilitator business facilitator will pay under FCM business facilitator uh, no business agent of business facilitator giving services to the business facilitator agent will pay under FCM here business facilitator and bank bank will pay under RCM business facilitator and agent of business facilitator agent of business faci business facilitator will pay under FCM services provided by agent of business correspondent now agent of business correspondent giving services to the business correspondent business correspondent will pay under RCM but business correspondent giving services to the bank bank will uh, so the bank that will FCM FCM agent business facility business correspondent will pay under FCM so this is what the point is Entry number 14 security services providing security personnel see any person other than body corporate giving services to the a registered person located in the taxable territory then it is under RCM registered person has to pay under RCM see services security services provided by other than body corporate giving to the registered person registered person will pay under RCM so it is given as uh, this security services given by any person to the government department of government local authority government agency not applicable a registered pays, person paying tax under composition scheme also then also RCM is not applicable next services provided by way of renting of an immovable property fuel cost is also included see who is giving these services any person other than body corporate to a body corporate remember any person 
other than body corporate and he should not be issuing the invoice under section under under the rate of 12 percent 6 percent cgst 6 percent sgst so if you remember this diagram here you will understand it better so what is given here person paying the tax under uh, paying tax under renting of motor vehicle uh, liable to pay tax under renting of motor vehicle if he opts for 12 percent if he opt for 12 percent then automatically forward charge no sir he is opting for 5 percent then supplier is body corporate forward charge supplier is other than body corporate then you have to check whether recipient is body corporate if recipient is other than body corporate again forward charge if recipient is body corporate then reverse charge and this person the person liable to pay GST is recipient that also we discussed and the last service is service number 16 entry number 16 where the lending services lender is the service provider security lending services security lending security services lending scheme so where the SEBI will appoint one uh, dealer so the dealer will take the securities from the investor and they will pledge it so they will or they will uh, give it to the uh, borrower borrower will sell it and he will take some uh, money and he will use it for his business purpose once the the duration is done this person no the the one who has taken that security on loan he will purchase the shares again and he will give it to the uh, that the person that the one who has appointed by the sebi now finally some amount will be paid to the uh, lender for giving this services lender uh, is the service recipient borrower is the service recipient lender is the service provider borrower is the recipient borrower has to pay under reverse charge mechanism these are the 16 items that we discussed now section number 9 subsection 4 the in this case so section number 9 subsection 3 if you go to this point first scenario 9 3 it was on specified goods and services now whomsoever he purchases that service or uh, goods then he has to pay under rcm but in case of section number 9 subsection 4 it is unregistered person giving services to the registered uh, promoter not registered promoter promoter unregistered person giving services to the promoter that promoter is the specified person and specified goods such as construction materials cement bricks sand labor all these things then rcm is applicable then rcm is applicable here the effective rate of gst is one percent on the construction without ITC, 1% without ITC on construction of affordable houses in the area of 60 square meters or 90 square meter in non-metro and value is up to 45 lakhs. That means less than or equal to 45 lakhs, then 1%. If other than this case, then it is 5% without ITC applicable on construction of all houses other than affordable houses and commercial apartments such as so shops commercial apartments which has shops also office etc in a residential real estate project rrep in which the carpet area carpet area of the commercial apartment is not more than 15 percent of the total carpet area of all the apartments so if you put all the apartments here example if it is it comes to 5000 square feet carpet area is 5000 square feet then the if to call it as commercial apartments and five percent to apply five percent the total area the total area of commercial apartment should be less than not more than that means less than or equal to 15 percent of this 5000 square uh, square feet 5000 square feet ka 15 percent will be 15 percent will be 750 square feet if i'm not wrong 15 percent is 750 square feet the 750 square feet should be given so you can not should be you can give to the extent of 750 square feet to the commercial apartments in that case 5 percent is applicable provided for application of 1 percent and 5 percent you have to apply these conditions what are the conditions itc is not available and 80 percent of the inputs except other than by way of grant of developmental rights long-term lease and uh, fsi except these things any other input goods and services that you have taken that 80 percent should be from registered person if if there is any difference between that 80 percent and actual purchase from the registered person if that is less than 80 percent whatever you have purchased from the registered person is less than 80 percent of the total then it is the difference will be taxable uh, under rcm 
RCM is 18%. 18% RCM pay, it is applicable. The difference will be under 18%. And remember that even if you, there is one special condition where cement, you have to purchase cement compulsorily from registered person. Example, you have purchased out of 100% of the material, input goods and services, except that DDR, uh, FSI, all these things and any fuel, electricity, high speed diesel, if, uh, input services other than these things. 100% that you have, uh, out of 100%, 85% you have purchased it from registered person. Other 15% is unregistered person. Actually you are allowed, but remember in that 15% if there is cement that you have purchased from unregistered person, per, uh, compulsorily, mandatorily you have to pay under RCM. RCM rate is 28%. On cement, it is 28%. So that is what I wanted to tell you. And lastly, section number 9, subsection 5, this is not RCM. In classroom, I told that it is RCM, but no, it is not RCM. Just for remembrance purpose, I told you it is RCM. RCM means recipient has to pay under reverse charge. But here, here, e-commerce operator, see, specified services, example, housekeeping, accommodation, transportation, restaurant. If these four services are given through e-commerce by the supplier to the recipient, supplier of hat or services to the recipient through e-commerce, then, then remember, in some cases, e-commerce has to pay under uh, sorry, e-commerce has to pay the GST. Again, I am telling under RCM. No, not under RCM. RCM means recipient has to pay under RCM. Not RCM it is. E-commerce operator, they have to pay. Not, neither supplier nor recipient, they don't have to pay the uh, GST. Any supplies which has happened through e-commerce, that transaction ke liye e-commerce will pay to the government. So, which are these, sir? First one, housekeeping. Second one, accommodation. Third one, transportation. And last one that is restaurant see housekeeping and accommodation what is housekeeping sir any services related to the repair of the door or cleaning services or plumber electric electricity electricians all these are the services which are related to the housekeeping services in that case if housekeeping services are given by one supplier through e-commerce to the recipient then if supplier is registered remember if supplier is registered then e-commerce will not pay supplier has to pay under forward charge mechanism if supplier is not registered then e-commerce will pay to the government on this services specifically through see if service the provider no not through e-commerce but on his own if he provides then e-commerce will not pay but if through provided through e-commerce then e-commerce will pay to the government this is one thing you should be clear and one more thing is accommodation example oyo rooms oyo rooms all this i had one vacant building in that i will register it in the oyo and i am the service provider and there is one service recipient who has come to my place and he has no uh, stay in that case, he will book the room in OYO. Now, I am the service provider, recipient. There is one recipient, service recipient. He will book through OYO and I will get the notification. I am the service provider. He is the recipient and through e-commerce. If I am registered, then I have to pay under FCM. Collect and pay under FCM. E-commerce will not pay. If I am not registered, e-commerce will pay to the government. So, this is accommodation and uh, housekeeping. Next one is transportation. Remember in transportation, Ola, Uber, uh, all these things, no? There is service provider, cab driver and there is recipient, the passenger. Passenger will book the services through e-commerce and cab driver will get the notification. Now this cab driver will give the services and payment will also happen through uh, e-commerce. In this case, whether cab driver is registered or not, e-commerce has to pay to the government compulsorily e-commerce will pay to the government next one is that is restaurant there are two kinds here restaurant ha huh, listen restaurant ka case mein remember that restaurant ka case mein i'll explain with the help of one example restaurant ka case mein there are two types of restaurants restaurant services okay Restaurant no restaurant ka case me restaurant services me two types which is provided through provided through specified premises and 
non specified non specified premises non specified premises in this case specified premises and non specified premises first we will discuss about non specified premises if you are not supplying through non specified premises you don't have any specified premises and there is one recipient who is damn hungry what he will do he will go to swiggy and he will order a a dish in your hotel and this is supplied through swiggy now in this case in this case you don't have any specified premises we will discuss what is specified premises if it is not specified premises then e-commerce will pay to the government even though you are registered are you are registered uh, gst you are registered under gst even then the e-commerce will swiggy will pay to the government swiggy or zomato they will pay to the government even though you are registered and you are not specified you don't have specified premises always 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 who always e-commerce always e-commerce will pay to the government if it is under specified premises if you are under specified premises then if you are registered if you are registered then then service provider so this is specified premises this is specified premises if you are registered if you are registered then service provider if you register service provider is registered then service provider if service provider is not registered not registered then there is no gst no gst at all if there is if he is not specified premises then there is no gst as far as my knowledge is concerned there is no specific clarifications here so that's why it is uh, this case now the question is what is the meaning of specified premises what is the meaning of the specified premises specified premises ka meaning is very simple if you have a business and in that business you have any accommodation facility that accommodation facility even any one unit any one unit in that accommodation facility the value of declared tariff per day is more than 7500 if it is more than 7500 then it is specified premises in that case this is what applicable this is applicable so e-commerce swiggy or zomato they will not pay to the government you if you are registered specified premises and restaurant guy if it is specified premises then registered person will collect and pay to the government otherwise there is no gst otherwise there is no gst the the e-commerce operator will not pay so that is given in that part if you see there if you see there uh, no there is no specified premises ka something given okay if here if this is not clear here then don't worry you can see some solved doubts doubts solved may next in playlist there are some, there is some playlist called as doubts solved so in that there are clarification on 95 95 may you can see this in detail so this is about section number 9 subsection 5 this is about your charge chapter ka revision one quick revision that i have uploaded it here uh, please do study that and whenever whenever you are free no put this into two so play this uh, plug in your earphone and and play this into two if there is any mistake which i have told but i specifically i went little speed so that it will happen uh, it, you can revise at the earliest possible somewhere 24 25 26 minutes 26 27 or 28 minutes i cannot see from here that's why uh, 20 plus okay 30 minutes take it as 30 minutes if you put it in into two definitely you can do it in 15 minutes one day before the exam these kind of revisions are will help you out by on this note thank you so much everyone for your patient listening we will meet uh, in next video with one more chapter we will revise fast fast may we will revise it thank you so much we will meet again by hail gst